Hello, in this video we are going to evaluate without making use of calculator 9 divided by 4 or to the power of 9 divided by 4. So let's start. We have 9 divided by 4 here and 9 is a perfect square so you can have it as 3 to the power of 2 divided by 4 as well as a perfect square you can have it as 2 to the power of 2 and this is all to the power of 9 divided by 4. Now if you have a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n, this is equals to a divided by b or to the power of n. So let's apply this identity right here. We are going to have 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 2 and all to the power of 9 divided by 4. So let's proceed. If you have a to the power of n or to the power of m this equals a to the power of n times m so we are simply going to multiply these exponents and we are going to have 3 divided by 2 or to the power of 2 times 9 divided by 4 So this will give us 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 18 divided by 4. And from here 2 can cancel for 2 times to divide 18 9 times. So this will give us 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 9 divided by 2. So let's proceed. We can as well rewrite this 9 divided by 2 as the sum of 4 plus 5 divided by 2. So we are going to have 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 4 plus 5 divided by 2. And 4 plus 5 is 9. We have 4 plus 5 divided by 2. This simply means we, are can, we can actually rewrite this as 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 4 divided by 2 plus 5 divided by 2. Now, let's proceed. This will give us 4 divided by 2 here is simply 2. We can have 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 2 plus 5 divided by 2. Now let's consider this identity. If you have a to the power of n plus m, this equals a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So we proceed. That means this will give us 3 divided by 2. And this is all to the power of 2 times we have 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 5 divided by 2. So that means we are going to have 3 power 2 is we have 9 divided by 4 and this will multiply we have 3 divided by 2 all to the power of 5 over 2. So what next can we do? We can have it as 9 divided by 4 times we can eliminate this 1 over 2 by taking the square root of 3 over 2 or to the power of 5. So this can as well give us we can have it as 9 divided by 4 times we can have it as root of 3 divided by root of 2 and this root of 3 will be raised to the power of 5 and this root of 2 will be raised to the power of 5 as well. So that means we need to find the value of root of 3 to the power of 5. And we also need to find the value of root of 2 
or to the power of 5. So, root of 3 to the power of 5, let me start with this one. We are simply going to have root of 3 to the power of 5 equals root of 3 times root of 3 times root of 3. Then we have it as times root of 3 and times root of 3. This will give us root of 3 times root of 3 will give us 3 and root of 3 times root of 3 will give us 3. So 3 times 3 we are going to have 9 and this will give us 9 root of 3. Now for this one root of 2 to the power of 5 we are going to have root of 2 times root of 2 times root of 2 times root of 2 and times root of 2. So this will give us root of 2 times root of 2 we are going to have 2 root of 2 times root of 2 we are going to have 2. So this will give us 4 root of 2. So that means we are going to have this equals 9 divided by 4 times root of 3 to the power of 5 is simply 9 root of 3 divided by root of 2 to the power of 5 is simply 4 root of 2. So this will give us, let's multiply it out, 9 times 9, we are going to have 81 root of 3 divided by 4 times 4, we are going to have 16 root of 2. So we can as well rationalize this denominator by multiplying the numerator by root of 2 and the denominator by root of 2. So this will give us 81 root of 3 times root of 2, we are going to have root of 6 divided by, we have 16 times root of 2 times root of 2, we are going to have 2. And this will give us 81 root of 6 divided by 32, because 16 times 2 is 32. And this becomes our final answer. So, if you have 9 divided by 4 to the power of 9 divided by 4 this equals 81 root of 6 divided by 32 without making use of calculator so that's it for the video thank you and goodbye